Hello, my name is Oliver Nee, and I'm a neuromuscular pathologist here at Hennepin Healthcare in the Neuromuscular Pathology Laboratory. Today I'd like to go over the muscle selection process as well as overview what happens to tissue when it arrives at our laboratory. The selection of a muscle is very important in increasing the diagnostic yield with regards to a weak patient who needs a biopsy. Commonly, muscle biopsies include the deltoid, uh, the biceps, the triceps, the vastus or quadriceps muscles, calves uh, or gastrox or tibialis anterior muscles. We typically want to pick a muscle that is moderately affected, graded at a four out of five weakness on the MRC rating scale. This is weakness that typically uh, easily overcomes gravity, but uh, cannot overcome manual motor testing. The rationale for doing this is to try to avoid atrophic muscles or end-stage muscles, as these types of muscles uh, make the diagnosis of a muscle disorder very difficult on microscopic testing. Many muscle disorders are patchy, and certain muscle disorders uh, affect very specific muscle groups. So EMG needle sampling can help find the more affected muscle uh, and also increase the yield from that aspect. EMG needle sampling is also helpful in avoiding chronic atrophic muscles, as sometimes the, when we actually have the needle in the muscle, you can feel the fibrotic change. And again, that may also decrease the diagnostic yield ultimately on microscopic analysis. Another important point is to try to avoid a muscle that has had recent trauma, recent intramuscular injection, or EMG needle sampling, as these processes can introduce artifactual inflammation. Once a muscle is selected, we send the patient to a surgeon uh, for a biopsy. Uh, if the patient is in the Twin Cities area, we are happy to try to help coordinate a surgeon for you. When the muscle is obtained, uh, it is sent to our uh, laboratory uh, where it is processed. Um, our different stains uh, help us uh, tease out uh, a lot of different characteristics of muscle. Uh, we look at muscle fiber size, shape, uh, internal architecture, and then the various different stains help tease out different types of muscle disorders such as immune myopathy, uh, inflammatory myopathy, muscular dystrophy, congenital myopathy, mitochondrial myopathy, uh, storage disorders uh, such as a glycogen or a lipid storage disorders, uh, and so forth. Once the biopsy uh, um, uh, is uh, stained, uh, a board-certified neuromuscular pathologist such as myself uh, or Dr. Lovenbrook uh, will read uh, the slides uh, and uh, come up with a differential diagnosis uh, when possible. If you have any questions at all about the process uh, or any particular cases, uh, please feel free to contact our lab. Um, we uh, look forward to working with you in the future. Uh, and appreciate uh, your help in helping us optimize the diagnostic yield of every muscle biopsy.